Was Corver sick yesterday? I think so, yeah, a little bit. Ty, did Corver and Heel practice today? Uh, Corver wasn't here at all today. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we didn't really practice. We just um, watched film, show some things we can clean up, and then we went on the floor and walked over like four or five plays that um, we can do a better job at. Did you take from the walkthrough, yeah, walkthrough. How did film look when you when you watched? You know, Jeff, it wasn't that bad. I thought we did some good things defensively, um, some things we can clean up and try to take away. Um, you know, but you know, holding this team to 98 points, you know, who's a, they're a high scoring team and play fast, and you know, we just got to do a better job. I think offensive scoring the basketball, taking care of the basketball, and uh, we can't give up 21 points on, in transition. So that's where they thrive, and if we can take those little easy points away. I think we'll be fine. that type of pressure defense like what what do you what do you want you guys to do i think you know first of all you got to just attack it i think um you know they're trying to get into our guards trying to pressure which is you know which is fine but you know we got to do a better job of just you know owning our space being comfortable with it i mean it's not like mugsy bogues pressure or anything like that so i mean but they are getting up the floor and trying to hound our guards so we do a better job of setting screens in the backcourt just try to loosen it up a little bit what troubled you the most offensively? What do you think the biggest problem was? That's attacking. I think being aggressive attacking. We had some shots we turned down, um, a chance to drive closeouts and make another play, and we didn't. So I just thought their physicality on post ups and everything was just, you know, um, was a lot for us. So we just got to own our space. When you look at the stat sheet and you see Kevin had eight shots. Uh, do you think that's not not enough? For no, it's not enough. And. Um, I talked to him earlier today about just he had small guys on him. He's floating out to the three. Like, he got to demand the ball in the post, and he said he, he has to be more aggressive. And um, they're trying to be physical with him on his post-ups, but um, he's seen it a lot of times before. So we got to do a better job of getting into him because they're playing the hard three quarters, so our, our guards got to be able to deliver the ball on target. And he has to be aggressive when he gets it. I know LeBron got to get everybody involved, but you want him to be aggressive and set the tone early. You know, we talked about that today also. It's just being aggressive early, setting the tone, especially for these new guys, you know, bringing these guys along. So um, he understood that. But once again, he's always a guy trying to get his teammates off early, get them guys going, and then try to fill the game out. But um, be ready to set the game, set the tone game too. Ty, there was, there's been a lot of talk about physicality since game one. Um, do you feel, looking back on it, that, that your guys got maybe caught off guard a little bit by it, but they'll be ready for it for game two? What do you think the – the issue was there. Is it's on it, so they have to be ready for it. I mean, that's how they play. Um, that's how Nate coaches. Um, in your face type of defense, and you know we gotta be prepared for that. You know we gotta just own our space, be tough, be more physical. I thought defensively, like our blitzes and um, rotations were, were, were pretty good. So defensively, we're fine. I just think we gotta be better offensively. Are you contemplating any lineup changes? Um, we're looking at it, but I'm not gonna talk about it. We've been talking about this for years with Kevin, and for a while there, you said you were running first play of the game as a post touch for him. Does that still stand? It, it seems like it sounds good in theory, yet at the start of the game, he's always out at the three point line. Because um, if he's playing a five, it's hard to, you know, to um, give him the ball in the post ups. But um, we still can do it. The first play of the game was actually for him on the curl play, but Rodney Hood curl, Old Depot trail, Braun heading for a dunk. So that was actually the first play for Kevin to start the game. How can you still do that? Um, I go back and forth, so we, we're not predictable. What did LeBron say when you talked to him today? Um, he felt good. I mean, his body felt good. I know he played 40 some minutes, but he said his body felt good. Um, he's in a good place. Just said we got to be more aggressive offensively. You know, be more aggressive. And um, that's about it. I know, of course, that LeBron is Superman and all that, but um, can he do this? Can he play 40, 40? He do it on every night, but we need him last, <laughs> we need him last night, so. Um, it was a game that kind of got out of hand early, and um, he said he felt good. And, you know, he wanted to play more, but I mean, it won't be a steady diet of 44 minutes. No. The point is that, that this time of year, sense of urgency is something that the, the guys talked about after. The game. I don't think it's sense of urgency. I think uh, we were prepared, we were ready to go. I just think we didn't play well, you know. And um, you know, if you're thinking too much and you know you're not aggressive, it's kind of hard in playoffs. So you just got to be aggressive, attacking on both ends of the floor, and that's what we got to do better. Mm -hmm. um, couldn't get to it. When you looked at Jeff Green, did you was the big having a big man on him? Did that you think disrupt him or anything? No. Um, every time we played him this year, they always put um, 
fat on Kevin, they put Turner on um, either Tristan or they put him on um, Crowder. So um, all the games, they like that matchup with that on Kevin. So um, we just got to do a better job of getting the ball down there. How does it feel with his back? Um, he feels pretty good. You know, he's up shooting, moving around, so he feels pretty good. George. Stiff, stiff, so um, couldn't do a lot today. So I'm getting a lot of treatment and see how he feels going forward. Jeff to keep shooting. The message to Jeff is be aggressive. You know, I think we need him on the floor for another ball handler when they're pressuring our guards, I'm attacking the basket. Um, and don't just settle. Just be aggressive. You know, if you're going to make a mistake, make an aggressive mistake. And um, he understands that. And I thought defensively he was pretty good, but just offensively, just being, you know, more aggressive with the basketball. Um, JR and Tristan, neither one of them had a regular season that they would, they would have liked at, at the start. But they're two of the four guys who have been here the whole time, started all the finals, all that. Um, how important is that for you that you you know how they respond in a playoff situation? Um, we've been talking about it as a staff. I just know, you know, those guys have been through everything with us, you know, the last four years. And you know, we won a championship, won the three finals, and Tristan and JR played a big part of that. So we understand that, and uh, trust me, we know that. Are you uh, still sticking with? He played ten in the first quarter last night. I know foul trouble led into that, but are you still thinking a ten-man rotation? Are you going to start chopping it down already? Uh, <laughs> we might start chopping down a little bit. We might be chopping down because guys are hurt. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, maybe a little bit, Jason. Good job, man. <laughs> The Cavs are ready to do whatever it takes to bring an NBA championship back to the land. We've been here before, and we know what it takes. It takes grit. It takes drive. It takes hustle. It takes team. It takes 20,562. Be a part of the playoffs action. Go to Cavs.com slash tickets now to get in the game.